Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMP Self Paced Papers MCQs. We are doing the chapter of Standard Costing. These videos are useful in case you all have done this chapter and you want to be knowing the reasons or you want to be quickly trying to be revising all the MCQs. Let's do this one. If the production level increases in a manufacturing organization, ABS limited, okay, within a relevant range, okay. Example, that means if you were to be producing, say, 10,000 units, you produce, say, 11,000. Okay, then which of the following cost would decrease if the production levels were increased within the relevant range? Okay, so four options are total fixed cost, okay, B, variable cost per unit, okay, C, total variable cost, and D, fixed cost per unit. Think of the correct answer. I think it is quite simple. Think. Okay. I think so that you all have thought. Now, total fixed cost, if your production level will increase, suppose you had to be producing 10,000 units, you produced 11,000. So I think so that more or less your fixed cost will remain same. They will not be decreasing. Why will rent fall here? Okay, if you're producing more number of units, why will the salaries fall? Why will the depreciations fall? I don't think so. Further, variable cost per unit might fall to some extent because of some reasons. Some reasons could be, sir, if we'll be producing in bulk, we'll be buying in bulk also. So raw material cost, we might get some discount. Okay, might get some discount. That is one thing. Second thing, your labor will start to learn because of learning curve. But these are very small things. You all will understand that these guys are saying that if the production will increase only within a limited range. So I don't think so variable cost per unit will get affected. Further, see total variable cost will of course rise only. If you are going to be producing more, automatically total variable cost will be rising. They might rise by a lower level, but then they will still rise only as such. The fixed cost per unit, common sense. This should have been the fixed cost. We should have produced 10,000 units. If we'll be producing more number of units, then in that case, bit of fixed cost per unit will become less because the same fixed cost will spread over larger number of units. So answer over here should be D. I think so. D should be the correct answer. D is the correct answer. 